Okay. Tangents. Tangents. Tangents, definitely. Um, well, that brings us into what's going on with what we're doing with Hero Central Studio. Um, again, we've created our new newsletter that's going to come out each month. So you'll see what events are going to be involved in, what releases are there. We just had Hero Central, HC Confidential number four. It came out on the first. It was mailed out to the UFO members and posted online. It is a, an update of what's been going on with the main book up through the current double size issue. I've been able to put out 40 to 44 page books every couple of months of the last year. Work hard! <laughs> <laughs> yes, workaholic is the nice way of putting it. Um, so, being having said that, issue twelve thirteen will be coming back from the printers next week. So we'll be getting that released, and that'll be available for purchase for six dollars here at this website, www.heroessential.org, as well as indieplanet.com. They also have it on their digital catalog as well. Now, I have a question. Go right ahead, sir. For fans that um, were around for the Giraffe Network era, yes, yes, there was a a um, independent um, writer that used to send us stuff. Has he showed interest in the UFO stuff, the UFO United Fanzine Organization? You know who I'm talking about, right? Crypto. You know that that gentleman. Let me tell you what I found out about that gentleman. He's a bit of a nut. <laughs> <laughs> um, he did let me know that he is going to be donating copies of his entire two-year run stint with Conspiracy 101s to the Atlanta Zine Library downtown. So you can actually get copies of the work. You can, you can check them out. Or you can purchase them from the Zine Library. Um, he actually made a huge sabbatical, turn into a long retirement for there for a while. Um, but he has shown interest in putting things together, like a, a big version, a collected volume, an anthology. Yeah, of all of his first year edition works. Hmm. Um, it just made it just. I, it got me thinking because the whole UFO, you know, the UFO. Why wouldn't a conspiracy theorist be, you know, <laughs> producing in a United Fanzine organization called UFO? You know, it, it didn't. It it didn't make sense as to why he wouldn't. But knowing that, um, maybe well, he just feels like it's a conspiracy. <laughs> Well, why would you contribute to the to the feed the man material, you know, if he's going to use it against you? <laughs> but uh, no, crypto, like I said, crypto has, has given us some indication that he wants to combine everything before he goes forward and, and have a special release. You know, and we'll be able to support it for him on our site here, at central.org. Um, he's just having to determine if it's going to be in print. Or if it's going to be digital, and he said if he does it on, on CD in PDF format, so you can, anybody can play it, then he will do a special double size 24 page issue extra added for current follow ups for all his original threads of conspiracy. That would be pretty interesting. Yeah, because then you're dealing with five years ago versus where did it go now? Did it prove true? Did it prove false? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's what I was given that information. So, glad you brought that up. Thank you so much. You know, I've been labeled as a tangent demon myself. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Well, definitely we have been busy here at the Hero Central Studio. Um, Jerome has been kind enough to uh, to work with us on helping us on the podcast. Um, I enjoy doing that. Any words of uh, encouragement? You know, from a library standpoint, reading standpoint? Um, words of encouragement. I mean, encourage you to read. I, I encourage that. I mean, but you can't force someone to read. You have to get them to a point where they want to, to do it. Like a mutual friend of ours, you got him to read 
um, Tales of the Arabian Nights. Exactly. And he was bored to tears with, what, the first chapter or two, yeah. and you're just like, go just a bit farther, and it got him interested on its own. Exactly. You just have to find something that interests your reader, whether it's your children or your nephews or your nieces or your cousins. You have to find something that goes along with them to get them interested and to support them and to get them to read. I mean, it's just like video. I mean, uh, uh, gaming. You know, whether it be video gaming or tabletop. Right. You know, I used to look down upon these fantasy football players until somebody pointed out that it's just like D and D. It's just sports and instead yeah. of Dungeons like and Dragons. Games, yeah. yeah. So I, I quit judging them because they're basically doing the same thing I am. They're yeah. escapism, which is exactly what books are. So you just, if you're trying to encourage someone, just Find out what in, you know interests them, and go after it. And donate to your library, whether it's old books that you're not going to read, or whether it's five dollars here or there. Because we're really struggling. You know, we really are struggling. Okay, everyone, you heard that. This is now turned into um, a local drive. You, you, <laughs> you get your public television drive. You get your Kickstarter drive. Now this is Jerome Feed Your Library Drive. There, I had to plug that out somehow. Every little bit helps, you know. If you're donating materials, donate past issues, past books, magazines. Those are for people to, to read. But they will not say no to a good five Chris dollar bill. Lincoln works wonders. Indeed. You know, I, I don't have the money to donate to my library. I mean, they paid me to bid there. Because they need someone to stack books, but I am going through all of my old comic books that are just not in good condition to sell. Yeah. They're not collectors' items, so I'm going to start making a display to put our com my comic books at the library for the library's use. There you go. To, because I I think comics are a great way to get kids interested in reading. Oh yeah. And why should my Comics be sitting upstairs gaining dust when they can be at a library being used. Yeah. Helping someone else. Yeah. Speaking of helping someone else, this is the last point I think we'll make for today. And that is November is steadily creeping closer and closer with National Writers Month. Yes, yes. Um, so I will say we have challenged one of our close friends who's a writer. Um, to do make good on what he has said he is going to do. Mm -hmm. um, he, he has said that uh, he wants to participate in this month's, this year's um, event. NaNoWriMo. Um, so much that we've now taken to making fun of him if he doesn't. Not that that's any different than anytime else. Um, but we would definitely like to uh, leave our posting here now. Starting in November, we're going to have on our site a little, how's he doing? <laughs> meter for the podcast. We'll be reporting each each week. Um, and you'll be able to see just a little, little, hey, this is where he's at. This is what's going on. You know, or he's not. Hey, you need some encouragement. You know, what can you do? You know, you know send him your boots. So we can kick him in the butt. You know, wh whatever it takes. Uh, but we'll definitely keep up and you know, everyone involved with uh, our friends here at the Hero Central Studio. Well, any closing words, any comments, any... Uh... Say your prayers, eat